We're hitting our second week of our Make the RGV Count initiative. We have teamed up with Somos Noticias to boost census response rates valley-wide. Each one of our team members representing a city, and this is the matchup between five cities. I'm representing La Jolla. Our response rate up by 0.1% since Friday. Come on, guys, you can do better than that. All of the cities here also up except for Los Indios. Channel 5's Rudy Midelis shows us how our census responses today could help us down the road. A decision made in Cameron County a decade ago, not by elected officials, but by its residents, could have helped jumpstart the local economy during this pandemic. Instead, our community was shortchanged. At every press conference, I can't not stress strong enough. Cameron County Judge Eddie Trevino Jr. Please make an effort. Has time and again ended with one request. You have not answered uh, the census 2020. We are asking and pleading with you to please do so. For some, visualizing funding that comes from the census for our schools, our children, and our communities during disasters is difficult. But as the 2020 census comes during the coronavirus pandemic, we can see how our community's actions 10 years ago, or lack thereof, are affecting us today. In May, the $2.2 trillion CARES Act sent relief money to the states. The money was distributed directly to cities and counties with a population over 500,000. Judge Trevino explains one reason he believes Cameron County didn't meet that criteria. Money that the federal government has attempted to inject both into the economy and to local and state government uh, was premised upon a population uh, line, de de delineation line of 500,000. Cameron County, even though I know we have 500,000 people in Cameron County, uh, according to census, we fell right under that. Texas was given $11.2 billion in aid. With a formula developed by the Department of Treasury, cities over 500,000 received approximately $175 per person directly from the federal government. After coming up with their own formula, the state distributed approximately $55 per person to areas with less than 500,000 residents. Cameron County, with 423,000 according to the last census, lost over $5 million in relief funds, a problem that could have been avoided with an accurate count of the county's residents during the 2010 census. With the pandemic, Mayor Trey Mendez says Brownsville has had to switch gears to social media and other forms of outreach to meet their goal of an 80% response rate. Uh, the census certainly is, is extremely important. There's been an extension of time uh, for the census. We, uh, the city, had a, a lot of plans to to uh, do some initiatives that required home-to-home -home visits and, and other personal contact. That's since been uh, scaled back. In a town hall with the Brownsville Chamber of Commerce, after discussing relief funds and grants for small businesses, Mendez stressed the importance the census has for residents and business owners and what everyone in the county should do. Just keep spreading the word and, and keep encouraging individuals to fill that out. It's extremely important uh, for the next 10 years. So uh, the next 10 years are going to be dependent on the results of that. So please encourage everybody to fill it out. You have a chance to change your future today and make sure your community gets the help it needs over the next decade. All you have to do is go to 2020census.gov and fill out your response. Together, we can make the RGV count. In Brownsville, Rudy Mireles, Channel 5 News at 6.